welcome to Newsflash! I'm Mary. And I'm Cece. And we hope you're having an amazing Friday. Cece, how are your drawing skills? You know, I think I'm pretty good. Really? Let's test. Drawing <laughs> test, go! I hello, and so will say the we. Oh no, I'm not a pirate, but the man of war cried he. Uh, you're not very good. I don't think you're very good either, but we know someone who is. Let's, Let's go, go meet Steve. Steve! Hey News Flash Nation, I'm Lily and today we're going to be interviewing our artists in residence. And you're probably asking, what is that? Well, we're about to find out. Uh, yeah, artist in residence is basically just a term for an artist who's visiting a campus or a, a park or a, um, a business and making the artwork while staying there. If you haven't met him yet, what are some fun facts about you? Uh, yeah, well, I'm originally from California, from the Bay Area. Uh, I went to art school in Los Angeles, and I studied uh, concept art for film and video game. So I did some studio work for over the years. Keeping in line with what I had been learning in school, I was very much doing like landscape and uh, scene design and stuff. So New Orleans was a beautiful place to come to, and it felt like every corner could be another painting, so I've, I've loved living here so. What style would you classify your art as? I would say uh, there's a mixture of things, obviously. Uh, impressionist is, uh, has been a, a huge influence on me. What's your favorite thing to paint? I think the, what calls me to paint something is generally lighting. Um, lighting and color, and I think those go really hand in hand. You can't separate those, so those two things to me are the most impactful as to the mood of the painting. Thank you for coming. Do you have any final thoughts? Yeah, I'd love to just thank you all for having me. It's been a wonderful time being able to, you know, work on the skills of talking to, to students about painting and, and being able to share that sort of part of my life that I normally, you know, I'm just in my studio alone. So it's been, it's been really kind of an opening experience to just kind of like share that more with people and talk about it more. So I've enjoyed it. I'm happy to be here. Guys, do you remember last week when Mary and Miss Cass made a deal that they would try each other's weird <laughs> food combinations? Roll the clip. Mustard on red beans is the best. Mustard on red beans is no good, but I will, I will try it if you try a peanut butter and pickle sandwich. Okay, okay deal. deal. Mary, which food combination do you think is going to be better? I think mustard's going to win. You never know. Let's go see. Hey y'all, I'm Mary and I'm here with Miss Cass Hello. and we are trying each other's weird food combinations. So Miss <laughs> Cass has, mm -hmm. what do you have? So I um, spent a lot of time with my grandmother as a kid and she put me on to a peanut butter and pickle sandwich. Um, it's very specific what it has to be. You have to use white bunny bread. Jif peanut butter, like no organic, no healthy stuff, like it has to be the creamy peanut butter, and sliced dill pickles. Um, and every time I tell someone that it's delicious, they judge me and think I'm super weird until they try it themselves, so. Well, I have mustard and red beans, <laughs> and my whole family does it, so. You can only have a little bit of mustard, because then if you have too much mustard, it's too tangy. Yeah, but I think so. Yeah, we'll try it. Okay. Okay. Do you like it? It's kind yeah. of tangy. It gives it a little tang. It's not yeah. like overpowering or anything. It's pretty good. I think I like classic red beans and rice the best. Yeah. But what do you rate I would it? eat this. Um, like out of 10, maybe like a 7 out of 10. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> yeah. No. Mm. Oh wait, that's actually really good. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I love pickles mm -hmm. and peanut butter. Yes. It's actually really good. It's really good. It's surprising. It's like an eight out of ten. Nice. <laughs> I I need it again. Awesome. Thanks for having having an open mind. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining me Absolutely. on this segment. Thanks. And see y'all next time. 
Cardinals, you know you have got to fight. You gotta rock with the red and roll with the white. Oh, we would definitely make the team. Yeah. But do you think Lily, Ellie, and Kennedy would make the team? I don't know. Let's go see their tryout. <laughs> Newsflash Nation! Today we're doing a day in the life of a different sport. Woo! Okay. So we're gonna be trying a new sport that we haven't tried before and that's completely different than the sport that we do right now. So, let's see if we can join the team. Oh, Today I'm live with my cheer captains. Hey! Hi. <laughs> and they're gonna be explaining what we're doing today. I'll take this one. Today we're going to be stretching. It's already 3.33. We should be stretching right now like the rest of the team. We're going to practice cheers, dances, maybe some jumps, stunts, you know, all the fun things. Okay, guys, so we're stretching and, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> From the, top. Right from the top. I don't think y'all will be joining the team, but I'm excited to see what the rest of practice is like. Facts. I got that part. <laughs> yeah, see. They already gave up. <laughs> they already gave up, and yeah, practice it. hasn't even ended. <laughs> wait, I got it. Hold on, wait. Ellie, how was practice and what do you rate it out of 10? Practice was amazing and I rated it a 10 out of 10. What was your favorite part? Um, probably watching Kennedy and Lily do the dances. <laughs> and will you be back? Definitely. I rated it a 10 out of 10. And what was your favorite part? My favorite part was the dances. The cheers aren't really for me, but... Yay! Kennedy, how was practice and what do you rate it out of 10? Um, I'll rate it a 9. A solid 9. Okay. And what was your favorite part of practice? Calling the cheer. And will you be back at practice again? <laughs> <laughs> Go to be it. determined. Oh, I don't know, Cece. What do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, maybe cheer's not one of their talents. But do y'all have any hidden talents? You know what that means. It's time for Question of the Week! What's the question? What's your hidden talent? Show us your hidden talent. Show us your hidden talent. I can play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the piano. That's naughty. Oopsie! Yay! I can spell mother with sign language. M-O-T-H-E-R. But she can do more. M-I-G-N-O-N. B I B L D. What's your hidden talent? I, I taught myself how to play this song through YouTube, but. Oh, wow. <laughs> Show us your hidden talent. Yeah, just do it. <laughs> Show us your hidden talent. King Julian! Show us your hidden talent. Um, dans le weekend, j'aime aller au cinéma avec mes amis. Show us your hidden talent. I can touch my tongue to my nose. Okay, do it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Show us your hidden talent. Uh oh! <laughs> Show us your hidden talent. <laughs> Show us your hidden talent. Go. Oh my God. Show us your hidden talent. When I touch water, I turn into a mermaid. Let's go. Thanks for 
for watching. See you same time, same place next week on News Flash.